Well, hello and welcome to another crazy experiment. Yep, it's a blue bowl with a silicone mat in the bottom. Now, I've been asked many, many times in the comments, people go, well, the silicone sluice box mats work so dang well. Why don't you try a silicone mat in the bottom of the blue bowl? So, there we go. Uh, it's not absolutely perfect. I have no idea if this is going to work or not. Or if uh, I don't know if the gold's going to come off the mat that easy. Can I suck it up? Will it completely fall apart? I don't know what's going to happen, so we'll turn it on and see. But yeah, I just made the mat, cut it out, siliconed it in. Um, I didn't silicone it on the bottom, just around the edges. Just so in case this is an absolute fail, I'm not spending days trying to get this silicone off my blue bowl. So, well, what's the material we're going to run? This is about a cup of material that I got from Mr. Flower Gold Wizard over on his channel. He sent to me and this 1.2 grams of gold that I took out of the blue bowl last time I ran it. I'm just testing it out. So we're going to dump this in this cup of material here. Ooh. <laughs> that looks pretty doggone good, doesn't it? Okay, we'll stir that in. And oh, I got to be right back. I forgot my jet dry in the house. Let me run in and get that. And I'll be right back. Okay, we got some jet dry in the water. We got that gold all mixed into the material. I uh, got some water in the blue bowl there. So let's just put in some material and we'll see what happens. Now, the mat is not perfect. So, I don't know if this is going to cause too much friction. And the water's not going to spin. Uh, who knows what's going to happen. Maybe I need to go back to the drawing board and make a real super thin mat. I don't know. Well, there's some material in there. Four or five tablespoons. Let's turn her on and see what happens. If it even works at all, and if the gold sticks to the silicone, I've used the silicone mat before as a miller table. It worked pretty good. So I don't know, and I don't know if the black sand's going to want to stick to it or not, but I'm starting to see some lighter material go out. I'm seeing some gold appear back here. Okay, first results are looking good. Um, I'm about, oh, an inch from the top, I suppose, but it's going pretty good, but look at the gold in the mat. Uh, first results are looking really good. It's not moving. It's staying right where I put it, it looks like. And you see the black sand going up. All right, we'll let this run. Um, dang. I hope this mat holds in here until I get done running this material. Okay, back in a bit. Okay, time to add in some more material. Sorry for the camera work, guys. But I'm going to try to put this so all the material has to go across that mat. I'm going to try. I'm going to put it on the outside edge. Okay, just a short peek while this thing's running. Uh, it looks just like a blue bowl does. Except for all the golds out on the edges. Okay, it's time to add in the remainder of the material. But you can see that. I slowed it down just a hair. 
just to help clean out this black sand and not blow all the gold in. But look at this outline of gold. That's where I slowed it down, where the uh, sand was. And so I just let it slow it down a bit, let it work. Look at that ring of gold around there. That's crazy. And even all the way down into here. No sand, but there's an outline of gold. Okay, let's get the rest of that material in. I got to turn this off. I got the rest of the material in there. We'll turn this on and run her down. And then I'll try and suck up the gold. Okay, we're just finishing up, running that down. <laughs> Look at the piles of gold there. Look at the line of gold over here. And everywhere. Okay, we'll finish her up. Okay, we're about done. I think I'm going to stop right there. Uh, not push it anymore. I got some bigger rocks in there kicking around, but it's pretty well cleaned out. So... You can see that as well as I can. Um, so, what am I going to say? I have been preaching for over a year now on how well gold sticks to silicone. Now, there is some science behind it. Google it if you want. But, I'm pretty much a practical guy. I'm not a scientist. I don't understand all that lingo. But, when I got lines of gold around here, and I got hardly anything around the cone. What do I say? It works. Silicone, gold does not like to slide on silicone. And that's a fact. So, let me get the camera down here. You can see I got gold all the way out at the sides, all the way around in a circle. Yeah, there's some around the cone. But not a pile away from the cone there is out in here. And something I did notice. I did spread some I did spread some silicone on this to seal it in. There's a little black sand there, but there's a little speck of gold there. I don't know if you can see it. But what that would have been lost down the cone. So yeah, did it work? Absolutely. Now let's see if I can if I can suck this gold up off the mat. Oh yeah, the sluice box mats. Yeah, that's why every time I make a new design or whatever, I say how how well it works and everything. Yeah, because the gold likes to stick to it. Now let's see if I can suck up some of this gold, or if it'll even move or what. Well, it's coming off. Oh, it'll move. But I got 100 and 200 mesh gold clear out here on the rim. Yeah, it's not stuck to it. It'll come up. That's what I was kind of worried about. You're going to work at it for a bit. Yeah, it'll come off. Well, I'll work on that. And I know somebody's going to say, well, what's your gold loss? Well, I'm going to say, since last time I ran this blue bowl in the last video, I lost 13 pieces running it super fast. This is the same gold that I took out of that. So if, what? 90% of the gold never even made it to the center, to the cone? I'm going to say not much. Not worth worrying about, that's for doggone sure. So anyway, I think that concludes my little experiment. Um, then guys, I hope you share this one. Comment, like it, I think everyone needs to see this one. Um, I suppose I need to do a video on how I got this in here and how I made the mat. Um, if you want to check that out, or if you want me to, let me know in the comments and I'll do it. But anyway, I'll put the link to the silicone or the molds for the silicone mats in the description in case you want to check them out. 
or you can check my channel out and make your own mold it won't make that much difference so anyway um, let me know what you think in the comments like share subscribe all that good stuff guys I appreciate it um, yeah thanks for watching and we will catch you next time bye now